all righty guys so pokemon tcg pocket has a new mini set we've known this for a while but they did release a video earlier today i've already seen it i already kind of dissected it a little bit when i was at work but this is it right here and it looks awesome first off i was like what is this going on what's what what, what is all of this um and i was like oh it's it's this but mu ex interesting I know I'm interested in this. Actually can deal damage now, what? Well, better damage, I guess. It can deal damage earlier too. Now this car being able to deal damage is nice. Only needs two energy too, and one of them's fighting, so. It's, not, it's no longer a normal type, but it is gonna be damaged by, I'm sure it's gonna be damaged by lightning. So many different things. I saw Tauros in there. Look at, look, oh man, I want to pause it so bad, but we'll go back and we'll pause it after this. All right, all right, all right. So, going back through this looks amazing. We saw the Mew card, so it kind of starts about right here. So, first off, Mew EX. Pretty nice, I'm not gonna lie. Um, it seems to me like it's a better version of ditto so with this you don't have to uh, it says choose one of your op opponent's active pokemon's attacks and use it as this attack so that can be pretty interesting um charizard um any anything that oh this is a uh, psychic too so you can use gardevoir to get that genome hacking up by the way if you need to but um this is just going to be an interesting um an interesting mon um, now it does have to be an active Pokemon, but notice how the drawback of having to have that exact energy is not there. So you just have three energy and you're good to go. So I think it'll be a really good addition. And up next, my lovable card, Aerodactyl. You, got, you guys know I like the Aerodactyl. I think it still goes from stage one with the old Amber, which is, you know, obviously something that would probably be happening. Um, and uh, your opponent can't play any Pokemon from their hand to evolve their active Pokemon. That's gonna be interesting. It doesn't work on the benches from what I'm, what I'm gaining from this, but it is still interesting nonetheless that, uh, let's say they put, I don't know, uh, Ivysaur up front. Sorry, I didn't mean to unpause it. Keyboard is a little sensitive. Um, and they can't go into Venusaur unless they back it up. So it's almost like a forced Sabrina-ish type thing, and they're gonna have to use energy if they don't have any X speeds. So it makes them have to, you know, back, back, back it up. I'm just saying, it is. this is gonna be fighting now too, which is really weird, but uh, we'll see. You can kind of see some stuff here. They did a rework to Vaporeon, looks like. You catch that real quick. Um, Pop has an ability called Wash Out, I think is what it does. Um, we'll have to see exactly what that's about, but it does need three energy still. So it's still a misty card, but it does have a full art now. Uh, the Dene, don't know what this does, but it's like thunder Pokemon, seems to be. We got Leaf here. Uh, I'm trying to remember what Leaf does. I think I remember seeing it, but it's kind of hard to see right now. There's Blue. Blue actually seems kind of crazy. Uh, somebody was, somebody said that they, they saw Gary was there. No, it's not Gary. It's blue, man. It looks nothing like Gary. Uh, it says, during your opponent's next turn, all of your Pokemon take negative 10 damage from attacks from your opponent's Pokemon. So that's kind of interesting. Um, it's almost like a... The only way they can win is with Giovanni, but I have blue, so I'm fine. Interesting. And if they don't have it, then I'm still fine because they would have needed Giovanni anyways. Um, Tauros... HP 100 needs three energy to attack though. I'm getting tired of stuff like this, but it says if your opponent's active Pokemon is a Pokemon EX, this attack does 80 more damage. So that's 120 damage, but it is for three energy. I guess it's not terrible, but are there other Pokemon that can deal 120 damage? very easily? You know, I don't know. We'll have to find out and see like I, I, for, for, for the amount of energy, it might not be worth it. But, and it's only if it's an EX Pokemon too. So it's kind of, yeah. 
we'll have to see how that goes out um they also have a new execute too that's over here and this oh here's leaf during the during this turn The retreat cost of your active Pokemon is two less. Interesting. Interesting. So she's basically a double X speed in a trainer, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a uh, supporter card, trainer card. Really nice. I think she can be pr pretty good. Now, that means you're not going to be able to use Giovanni that turn, though. You're not going to be able to use Sabrina. So, but if you're getting out, then maybe you don't need it, you know, but it could be interesting to use and she is another one of those cards that can be used in any deck you know it's not like a misty a brock a lieutenant surge uh blue and leaf seem to be those cards you can have in multiple multiple decks you, you, you can just have them in there you know and i especially think i would like something like this in my electros deck that i love because electros needs to be able to back out easily sometimes also with this card in conjunction you can get wheezing out with one energy really nice sometimes you don't have koga basically it's a it's a backup koga to get out because some of these cards take forever maybe the golem deck instead of having to use all four of your energy you have this and you have xp you can back up golem and now you can go back in for a final shot later if you want to um the execute has 50 hp takes it takes an energy when it attacks i'm not sure if it does damage or not but i do see that it takes an energy from the field let's see Take energy from the energy zone. I don't know if it does. I don't understand why we need this stuff. You only need one energy on Executor. I don't know why you would need this, but it's another card, I guess. Unless it doesn't put it on this, it puts it on another Pokemon. I don't know. We we'll have to find out. Wait, was that? A, that wasn't a different Magmar, was it? Was it a different? Well, this is one right here. It didn't say. It doesn't say anything right there though. Let's see if I can go back far enough. Stop it! Oh, it does fire blast. Two energy, but it discards. It looks like two energy when you use it. Interesting. That that might be bad. <laughs> Magmar already is not that great, especially with Blaine. But now it's gonna be a, even a little bit worse. Um, what is this? Um, Marsh Shadow. Marsh Shadow being able to do. What did it say? Revenge? Am I just not going back far enough? If any of your Pokemon were knocked out by uh, damage from an attack during your opponent's last turn, this attack does 60 more damage. Okay. Interesting. It's a fighting type. That's interesting though, because your opponent just won't knock out anything, right? Okay. I didn't see what that thing did. Oh, okay. More moral does Ram 20. Oh, Larvista. I had, I have this thing in Poke Poke Rogue. Um, it turns into a really cool pseudo legendary, right? Uh, combustion, I think is what it is. 30, something like that. It's kind of hard to see. Uh, demise, Delmise, energy whip, 20, 20 times, whatever. I don't know what this is graded off of. We could probably find out. Um, interesting though. I, I'm, I'm excited for all of these cars that are coming out. Um, the Arrow EX and the Mew EX definitely are the stars of this. Um, that can be interesting. Although I still think Mew's gonna be bad against something like Pikachu because Pikachu's attacks are based off of the lightning in lightning Pokemon. But you can put Mew in, well, I guess not roughly any deck because you're gonna need to have that psychic energy. Um, But wait a minute. Now that I think about it, do you need any psychic energy? No. You only need psychic energy for side shot. You can drop Mew EX in any deck you want to just put random energy on it and it can just use moves. That's pretty cool. Unless you know, if you want to have, if you want to be able to attack with this, then sure. You'll need to do that, but you can, you can just have this in your deck and just have it for when you really need it. Pretty interesting. I'm excited. Snivy. I see that too. This is, I, I, I keep saying that I think it's really cool what they're doing with this game. And I really appreciate 
the fact that they're they're giving us more content, you know? And I was thinking last night, I was like, man, how many other cards can they put in here really? And then I was like, you know what? I don't think they'll do it, but technically everything can have an EX. And they can also have different copies of different cards, so they can do whatever they want to really. Magmar has there's already another Magmar, and they just added another Magmar. So they can they can make a lot of cards, man. Different variations, not just different art styles, not just a you know a Greninja skin. They can actually make a different variation of Greninja if they want to. It's I mean the world is their oyster to do what they please. So I'm excited for all this. I, I think that um Aerodactyl is probably gonna be one of the the cooler ones to like do. Um pro perhaps maybe a um imagine this a um a birds of a feather deck where you have Aerodactyl and you also have the Pidgeot line. Uh, and Pidgeot is pushing those um, things into the active position and they're not able to, to evolve anymore. And Aerodactyl's just sitting there waiting to just, you know, ugh, get rid of them. And then they have to back up if they want to live, right? Cause you're doing 80 damage. Most uh, stage one Pokemon are going to have less than 80 damage. You know, I, I, uh, less than 80 HP. So you'll be able to kill it. It's almost like my favorite deck or one of my favorite decks, um, which is the uh, control issues one where you do have victory bell. The only difference is that you're going to be, you're going to be forcing them to have to play in stuff that's evolved already. If you want them to, it's going to be really awesome. Will I use EX Pokemon? Yeah, of course I will. I don't, I don't not use EX Pokemon. I just don't like to use them that often, but I'll probably use these. Um, I'm not, I don't like using stuff that's like super broken either. So it depends on how good they are, but if they're really good, I might not play with them. I don't know. Uh, I'll at least try them out. I've tried out all the cards, so we'll see what happens. I'm excited though. I hope you guys are excited too. Um, people in YouTube, uh, do me a favor. What is your favorite card that has been announced so far that, that was in this little teaser trailer? Um, I think somebody actually had a little list of all the new cards. Let's see. Mythical Island release cards. Anyways, we got Mew EX, Aerodactyl EX, Celebi EX. You can see these cards. You still know what they're doing, though. Um, we won't know the full list until, like, next next year. And some of them, we don't know what they do. But, like, what are you excited for, though? Like, and all these cars down here, man, there's a lot of them. Like, I'm, I'm, I'd be surprised if a lot of people aren't going to say, like, Snivy or Execute or maybe Magmar. But I know a lot of people are probably excited. I think that Magikarp having a move kind of like Melmetal would be nice for um, Gyarados. But I don't know. I don't know. Um, and we don't know if they're going to have different cards and stuff. And um, it'd be nice if there, if there was. But yeah, you guys tell me what you think. What do you think is uh, your favorite one in this? Because I'm excited. I'm I'm ready for this because I've been playing this game with all the same cards for the most part since October, man. Since October, I got most of the cards and I still haven't gotten a gun pack. Yeah, Cosmo's gotten two. So I don't appreciate that, but it is what it is. All right, I'll catch you guys later. Don't forget to like, subscribe, drop a comment. Appreciate you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.